And hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play The Lemmings for this Throwback Thursday. Um, this is, again, a very old game. Um, I don't even remember when it was made. I don't read Roman numerals, so I'm not sure. But yes, let's go ahead and r jump right on into it and see. So, yes, background looks like crap because it was an old VGA game. At least this does. Uh, just dig. Number of lemmings, 10. 10% to be saved. Release rate, 50%. Time in minutes, yada, yada, yada. Rank fun. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, as it says, the, the whole ga goal is just to, you know, you just have to dig. And, you know, you have all these different types of lemmings that, you, you know, all these different jobs you can have them do. You know, like I said, we're just, we're, we are literally just digging. So, boom! Everybody's down, everybody's out, all right. So, now they can fall, they can only fall a certain amount of distance before they just go splat. But that comes up later. So, yes, we have... You know, we use one of our diggers, digger assignments, and you only have a certain number of assignments, people, a uh, certain number of jobs that you can assign to different lemmings. So, boom, we got 100%. Hey! And for some reason, the screen, like, changes sizes between the this and that. And you get access codes for the level. That's based on... How many lemmings did you save? How fast? And all that stuff. So basically, there is no save, but there is a, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, a 10 letter combination code. So, uh, only floaters can survive this. So we have a different type of, of lemming now. We have a floater. And we can assign, you know, basically, as each one of them drops down, we assign it to be a floater. And basically, we give it an umbrella. Then it pops out whenever it's falling a significant distance. Again, really simple. You know, this is just, really is just getting you acclimated to the game itself and to, you know, what what different challenges you're going to find later on in the game. And they do get much more difficult, much trickier. As with any game. Now this was actually kind of... A, a, if I remember right, this was actually one of the first... Uh, kind of a revolutionary um, puzzle puzzler. So yes, here we actually have to start sacrificing. So we set up blockers. That tell the lemmings, no, 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 you can't go any further than here. Turn around. So obviously, this is this one, you cannot save 100% of the people. Because there is no way to, to take a blocker and turn them back into a walker. So we are actually going to be losing five people. And now we'll just, you know, we'll crank up the release rate so that we're not sitting here as they drop, you know, slowly. No, faster, damn you, faster! So yeah, like I said, we're not going to save everybody. We are just, we're not going to save everybody. It sucks, but hey, that's, you know, we're saving a lot of lemmings at the sacrifice of five lemmings. So then... We wait for everybody to get in and, and out of this this little uh, this little torture chamber here, and then we say, um, "There we go, nuke them." Yes, we are just nuking everybody. So everybody's now got a countdown timer, and then, poof! I don't know how the lemmings explode. I don't know why they explode. I don't know if they've got little you know li little you know, bombs inside their tummies or what? Now use miners and climbers. Right. Okay. Now the miners are actually kind of interesting ones because the mining one the mining ones go at an angle. Which is beneficial to everybody because um 
basically, instead of just going straight down, you know, okay, it goes at an angle. So if you happen to be... And then we just make everybody a climber. They'll climb up in the end. Um, but... Why is the drop rate so freaking slow? Oh, now everybody's out. Ah. Anyway, but yes, um, at an angle so you can, you know, you can actually avoid, like, a pit underneath you. Also, you're not, you know, you can help mitigate that deep drop. So yes, 100%. Hey! And like I said, it is, it's just, it's basically just a puzzle game. We'd need bashers this time. Yes, sir. So, uh, yes, we have bashers now. Now, you want to make sure to set the bashers up so that don't click on them too early because they're going to start swinging. And you want to make sure that when they do start swinging, they're actually hitting something. Because if they don't hit something, they'll swing once and say, eh, nothing for me to bash, and turn around and just walk off. Now, the, the lovely 8-bit music serenading us here. And basically, they'll climb up, you know, they'll climb up this. And yes, I could have started them bashing, but then, you know, some of them are going to escape up here. And it's just so much easier just to say, hey, We are going to crank up the drop rate now so that we have, you know, they're dropping everybody much faster. And then basically this guy here is going to start bashing. And he's not going to stop bashing till he reaches the end goal. Now some of these guys are going to go up and, you know, kind of climb up that spider web a little bit. But it's not a big deal because what they're going to do is they're going to wind up up on top here. Come down, they're going to hit this wall and they're going to go back. And they're gonna, they will ultimately wind up in the home hole. So, why is it? Why it, it sounds like it's it's like mixing between uh, Bitsy Bitsy Spider. The wedding march, and then a funeral march, and it's like, wait, that's, that's, that's way kind of bizarre, at least in my mind. I mean, I'm kind of used to bizarre, but yes, it just, it doesn't sound quite right. So yes, we saved 100%. Can you do it on every level? No, because there are some levels you just can't do. A task for a blocker and a, and bombers. Ah, so, with this one, basically we need to say, okay, we're going to stop you, and we're going to turn you into bomber, so you're going to blow up, you're going to blow a hole in the floor, Boop. and then when this guy gets over to here, we're going to stop him, we're going to turn him into a blocker, and basically that stops him from walking, which is beneficial because we don't want him, you know, we, we, we don't want him to you know, hit the wall, turn around, and spend five seconds basically going off and out of the, you know, out of range of the wall. And again, we can crank up the drop rate so that we're dropping just tons of limits at once, and thereby getting through this, this level just that much faster. Yes, and, you know, like I said, we have to sacrifice two lemmings, but hey, two lemmings for how many ever we had, you know, I, I don't even know, what, I think we had 50 lemmings total? Yeah, we were only supposed to, we only really had to save 20% of them, we saved 96%, which means we are essentially gods to these lemmings. Builders will help you here, and this one is kind of, this one kind of shows you uh, a little bit of the pain of some of it because yes you have to build you you know builders basically build up at an angle 
So we're going to say, okay, you, start building. And I think they have like 12, 12 blocks. 12, 12, you know, 12 little steps, basically. Yeah, see? Okay. So there's that. Yay! Now we have a pit! Which is not good! Pits are not good! I mean, lemmings love pits! Well, actually, they love cliffs. Which is actually, actually an, an inaccuracy. Lemmings do will not just jump off cliffs. Um, what happened with that and where that story came from was this nature documentary. Um, basically, they... They took a bunch of lemmings and they didn't like the area that they were in. So they actually took the lemmings and put them into an unfamiliar area. And they're basically, they started circling, you know, they started at where they were dropped off. And they started circling around. Trying to, you know, trying to find out what was in the area. Just kind of circling out, saying, okay, well, a little, little bit wider of an area, a little bit wider of an area, a little bit wider of an area. And hey, there was a cliff. There was this beautiful, you know, beautiful scene on a cliff. And that's, and the lemmings basically just started circling out. They didn't know about the cliff and just circled right on the, uh, right on off the cliff, basically. So no, lemmings do not just, lemmings are not suicidal. They don't just blindly jump off some, you know, just follow, you know, it's not if one person jumps off a cliff, everybody jumps off a cliff. Not if they know about it. If they know about the cliff, they're not going to jump off the cliff. They're not that stupid. They're portrayed as being that stupid because of what the, um, and I don't remember if it was National Geographic, if it was BBC, if it was, you know, who it was that did it. But they were, they were assholes to lemmings. They wanted it to be in a much prettier place, so they picked up the lemmings and moved them, and actually are responsible for those lemmings committee. You know, those lemmings, lemmings dying. See, not only do I, not only do I entertain, I also inform. Hey. But yes, um, again, this is uh, considered abandoned wear, and again, you do need DOSBox to run this game on a Windows, you know, on, on a modern machine. Um, as always, the link is down in the description down below, and there we go, we've reached 100%, yay. And we are all out of time for this episode of Throwback Thursdays. So we got through what? We got through seven levels. Cool. Um, and actually, we'll just go ahead and start this guy off. You know, we have everything here, and it's it's just massive, and yeah, it's really not that difficult. As it says, it is not as difficult as it looks. I, you look at it, and it's like, wow, there's all this stuff, all this massive map. Nope, one blocker. One blocker to get him going the other way. But as I was saying, that's all the time we have for this episode of Throwback Thursdays. If you enjoyed the game, check the link in the description down below. Excuse me. And that'll take you to a link where you can download the game for free. Uh, I think you can also get a copy of DOSBox there if you need it. And definitely check it out. If you enjoy puzzle games, this is one of the, you know, one of the early puzzle games and one of the best in my opinion. As always, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! Oh, yeah. Oh, can't stop. All right. Wow, Graham. Well, there you have it, Pilar. You sure does seem like a... This show was like a mix between Mad Max and Nightbreak. The idea of vast secretive law enforcement agency roaming the apparent